Now, if you want to create an easy but unique YouTube intro for your vlog channel by simply using few photos that you have clicked, watch today's tutorial How to make vlog intro using KineMaster Part 1 First, we will create a green screen stroke effect. So first, open KineMaster app and take a black background. So go to layers, tap and writing and select the pencil tool. The first one. Select color and change it to pure green like this. Select the pencil width as you want. I am choosing the thicker side. Then with the pencil tool selected, draw a continuous stroke like this from top left to bottom right on the screen. If you are not happy with the stroke, tap this clear screen option to clear the whole screen like this and draw again. You need to drag and set the handwriting layer to around 4 seconds on the timeline. Then select the first icon to apply in animation. Select draw by stroke and increase timings to 1.5 seconds. Select out animation and set timings to 1 second. Play and check the animation. Change the values if you want to. Now if you want to create an intro with 6 images, your intro should be 24 seconds long with each image 4 seconds long. So drag the black layer to 24 seconds. You can pitch out on timeline to get a zoom view. Now select the handwriting layer, select this 3 dot stop left and tap duplicate. Drag it right side and place it just after the first handwriting layer ends. Next tap to select the second handwriting layer, tap edit top right and tap this clear screen option. Next. Use the pencil tool and with green color selected, again draw a continuous zigzag stroke on the screen like this. The in and out animation are already set as we have made a duplicate of the first layer. Play to check the animation. Again select the second handwriting layer, duplicate it and repeat the process 4 more times for total 6 images. For the last, that is sixth image, I prefer to turn off the out animation. Note the length of the video. Finally, export the video. Step 2. Creating the main video. Now, create a KineMaster project with a black background. Drag it to around 24 seconds, that is the length of the video in part 1. Go to the first frame on the timeline. Go to layers, media and import your first photo. Drag it to make it 4 seconds long. Next, place the playhead at the end of the first clip. Go to layer, media and import your second photo. Drag the end to make it 4 seconds long. This way, import all the clips one by one, placing each photo at the end of the previous one. Next, take the playhead at the initial position, go to layer, media and import the video that you had exported in part 1. Go to the end on the timeline and resize all the layers to the length of the green screen layer if there is any mismatch. Step 3. 
Select this green screen video, go to split screen and choose the second option to make it full screen. Next, select the green screen video again and this time go to chroma key and enable it. Make adjustments on the sliders if necessary. Now you will be able to see the underneath pics. Play the video clip by clip and resize the image layers so that the green screen borders are fully visible. Do this for all the photo layers. Play the video and check whether each picture clip starts and ends at the correct place synchronized with the stroke animation. There can be a slight overlap of say one frame between two photos when one stroke animation ends and another animation begins. You can add a slight movement to your clips. So take your playhead at the beginning. Select the first clip. Select the key option to start an animation. A keyframe will be created at the starting point. Then drag the playhead to the end portion of the clip and slightly displace the clip to the left or right to give a panning effect. You will find another keyframe created at the end position. Take the playhead at the starting position and play the clip to view effect and adjust as required. Do this for all clips. Select the clip, select the key option, then drag the playhead to the end portion of the clip and slightly displace the clip. Play the clip to view effect. Do this for all clips. Now we shall add text. Go to the first frame, go to layers, text and add some text corresponding to the first image. Go to text option and increase character spacing. Change font and resize the text. Change color if required. Now go to shadow and enable the shadow option. Change blending if you want. Next, add a fade in and fade out effect to the text. Make the text appear only when the image part behind it is visible. So trim the extra left and right part of the text. play and adjust correctly. Next, select the text. Tap on the top left three dots and duplicate it. Edit the text. And then place the second text layer correctly over the second photo clip. Play and adjust as required. Repeat this for all photos. For the last clip, you need to write the name of the place or vlog. Drag the last text layer till the end of the video. Disable out animation. Go to the starting point of the text clip. Select the animation tool, a keyframe will be created. Go to the last frame of the text clip and create a keyframe. Drag the text outwards to make it bigger in size. Play to view result and adjust as required. 
So our blog intro is ready. Add fade in and fade out effect from project settings. Add background music. Finally, export the video. So, let's watch the final result. like this easy tutorial on how to make vlog intro using KineMaster, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now to create another easy intro, watch video on left or to create a travel vlog intro, watch video on right. So see you there in my next video. Thanks for watching.